The mountain village of Angel Fire is in the Moreno Valley, 90 miles north of Santa Fe and just south of where New Mexico 434 meets US 64. The Angel Fire Resort plays host to all kinds of fun year-round, but the snow-capped peaks of these mountains draw winter sports enthusiasts in droves. With plenty of acreage for skiers and snowboarders alike, and an environment friendly for all levels of expertise, the 79 runs and terrain park of Angel Fire offer some of the best views of the Southern Rockies you're going to find. So what better place to take my first snowboarding lesson? Even if I spend most of my time falling on the ground, I can still feel on top of the world. I've done my fair share of skateboarding, so I'm hoping maybe some of that will translate to this sport. I'm just gonna press a little, my toes down on my front foot, in this case my right foot, just a little bit. That's gonna start that board sliding forward, okay? No better way to make you feel like a two-year-old again than to have someone help you stand up on your own two feet. But David is teaching me the essentials of getting balance on the heelside edge of my board. So I'm going to get up, lean out, come up, press both heels in the snow, so stop. Now, I'm going to press down a little bit on my right toe, reach out, let there now, pulling both toes up. Now, let's see if I can do it with no hands or training wheels. And hey, I actually got up and made it look almost natural. Keyword being almost. My first day on a snowboard played out pretty much as expected. A lot of time on my buttocks. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow. Oh yeah, <laughs> better your buttocks. You'll be sore. I think for my next run down the mountain, I should do it sitting on a donut. I mean tube. Yes, the polar coaster definitely looks like the way to go at this point. What you're about to see, do not attempt at home. Now that is awesome. And I get a lot more speed going down that way. More please. Bring your own board or rent your equipment here on site. And the fun doesn't end when the sun goes down either. Can you say night skiing? And after you hit the slopes, be sure to check out H2 Uptown for some great grub, mixing casual fine dining with a southwestern twist. 